Yes, indeed. It's the start of the CSAT 20 Challenge. The perennial contenders, the Multiply Titans, three times winners in the last three years of the title. They're up against the challengers, the Warriors, on a cold, grey day here in uh, Centurion. There's been a lot of rain this morning, but mercifully that has blown away on this uh, stiffest south wind. So word that here in the middle is that the Warriors have won the toss and they'll field first. And we've got cricket to open the CSA T20 Challenge. As you heard from downstairs, so many changes. The Multiply Titans have seven changes from the side that won the Momentum Cup. The only remaining are Tony DeZorzi, Tennis De Brain, the captain Fahn Bardin, and Junior Dala. A lot of players unavailable because they've already relocated to overseas. The Warriors, we heard them say six T20 debutants, and most amazingly, Luta Sapamla and Sinatembe Kashile have already played for South Africa before they play T20 for their franchise, the Warriors. Down the leg side and four, the first four of the competition. Smeared over Medan, that's a good stroke. It'll go away for four. Might not have come out in the middle, but it's the intention and the execution that is so good from Henry Davids. Oh, that's a great shot. Six the other way, but four this way. He has middled that to the long boundary. Oh, he's dragged it on. Going for the paddle. He's got it all wrong as Henry Davids. Perhaps a little preoccupied with the short side. But Lutus Apamla has struck. And the Titans lose their first wicket. It's 39 for one. Up in the air. Men going back. I think the ball's going to fall safely though. Very, very safely. It almost goes all the way. Oh, he's bowled him. Woo! That's a wonderful delivery there by Sisanda Magala. Oh, gone, gone on 16. Well, that's six. It wasn't a miss hit. It was a good strike from Tienes the brain. It is the shorter side, but immediately as he hit it, you just knew there was one result. Oh, down the ground and six more. This time is Diego Rosier. Oh, just over. So Pamela's head, it was beautifully struck by Diego. By Tienes the brain. Oh my word, that's impish. Diego Rosier showing all the creativity. Done him, beautifully bowled. It's really been a top over from the skipper. They've been fraying at the edges of the Warriors, but this is a really good fight back. A useful hand by Rosier comes to an end. He's gone for a bright and breezy 37. Well, he's down the wicket and he has absolutely hammered that into the stands. On 48 now, Tennis De Bruyne. Over, deep extra, six more and 50 for Tennis De Brain. What a super innings it's been. Five sixes studded in this uh, effort from Tennis De Brain off just 24 balls. It's really been a top class knock from this tall, elegant right hander. It's going to be taken, surely this time. Oh, no! What is going on out there? Yeah, unfortunately, never didn't see that coming. I thought we were clear and the game was going to carry on. But what entertainment this has been, especially that man in picture. 68 of just 31 deliveries, 157 for three with a couple of overs to go. Pulled away. And he doesn't even bother looking because he just knows the timing was so good and it sails way over the boundary for six. Short delivery, straight up in the air, another chance, another chance, and this time it is taken. Gian Kluti takes the catch, and a brilliant end innings of the brain comes to an end. Down the ground, another chance. Is the timing good enough? Oh, no! Just as he steps back, he just trembles onto the fence, and it's gone for six. So that's straight up in the air. He needed to reach for it. 
Oh, that's a brilliant catch. That is an outstanding catch that by Gian Clute. Beautiful. When you're talking about thinking. Just over. He got enough bat. And that's four more for Berdin. That's a Yorker. And guess what the result is? Oh, they're going to come back for two. But it's because of the misfield that they come back for two. That's another expensive over which ends the innings. It's 216 for five. Yeah, having a chat, Captain John John Smuts. 216 for 217 is what they need to get. That's a very good surface. It really is. We saw some brilliant shots. David's 20, been out of the game for quite some time. Tennis the Brain was outstanding, 74-34, and then good partnerships going down. Rosier contributed, and so did Thompson. Welcome back to Supersport Park. There's a bit of a rain delay, but revised playing conditions. There'll be 18 overs where three bowlers can bowl four overs, and two can bowl three overs. The revised target. There's 200. That's what the Warriors will need to get to win this game. Well, smashed it. That's over the boundary and he's off the mark. It's Gian Clutti with a big six. Again, he goes leg side. Oh, almost, almost. But it's six more runs. Oh, this is a good shot. A very strong offside field. It's packed, but he managed just to find the gap. Shot. Great shot. This time the delivery close enough to him. That will be four runs. Got enough edge and races away for four. That's four runs. Bread and butter that for G Gian Clutti. Oh, that's a good shot. That is such a quality shot that by Gian Clutti. Oh, he's got that. He's massacred that. That's huge. That's way into the stands. Oh, he's bowled the wrong ball. He's bowled the wrong ball. He's brought third man up. And he's trying to bowl a slow one, it's too short, and Clutie's played a beautiful stroke to get it away to third man for four. Well, whilst all this has been happening, there's been a flash of lightning. And the umpires, in the interest of player safety, are leaving the field. Well, sadly, Rain has had the final say here at Supersport Park in this opening match of the CSAT 20 Challenge. And it's the Warriors who've come out victorious on the Duckworth Lewis method by just four runs. It's been a match that's belonged to the bat. The Titans posted 216 for five. The Warriors were given 18 overs to get 200. They only used six of them and they got to 60. They needed to be at 56 in order to win on the Duckworth Lewis method. They achieved that and that's when rain and lightning drove the players from the field.